put on the main shaft. And you can bend this little guide back for the swash plate and get that on. And let's pop these servo arms back on. Now they're all on, and the next thing I would check is just make sure the swash plate's all level. And I just go into here and find my throttle curves. Pitch curves work too. And just make, oh, I forgot to unplug my tail motor. And just keep going up with the throttle until you get 50 in and 50 out. Kind of blurry. Okay. Check how level the swash plate is, which it's not right now, because I didn't do the sub trims yet, which I'll do next. Okay, this is just the center of the servos. Um, then I'm gonna do the. I need to go back to 50 50 in and out. And sub trim. I'm gonna go to aileron since that's easy to see right now. And I'm gonna increase it. See the servo move. It doesn't move much, but you just want to make sure it's 90 degrees to the servo. And I'll do that real quick and come back. Okay, I got them all at 90 now. Let's see them. It's kind of hard to tell at the different angles I have to show this at, but all 90 to there. And I noticed that. Swash plate wasn't totally level on the left side, so what you need to do after you do that to get it level is adjust all three of these push rods. Usually, to start with one that looks pretty good, like the elevator, then uh, just go around and make this pitch servo the same uh, height as the elevator, and let me adjust this a little bit. Not by much for this one. Got one more. That looks right about on. And it's horizontal or perpendicular to the main shaft going this way and perpendicular to the main shaft on the either on side. And if it looks fine, then you can move on to the next step, and that would be putting the main hub on.